Hello, everyone, and I'm your friend in Snack. So today we are going to learn English as a daily routine. Why? Why I have to do that? Yeah, basically,、um, it's because on、um, the 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 level of my English. Okay, I can't speak it flu- fluently with accuracy. You know,、uh, sometimes I just don't know how to. Uh, express my thoughts in a clear way. That that's a big problem if if we want to communicate freely in English or、uh, to s- s- spread knowledge to the rest of of the world. So I have to、uh, keep my mind sharp. I have to、um, keep learning English.、Uh, Especially in English speaking and writing, okay, in, because that's that's、uh, the two general way we can、um, deliver our knowledge. So I just found this page. The title of this page is "How to Make Your Own Sentence with These with These Eighteen Easy Forms." Okay. Um, the sentence language is like Legos. What's that mean? Um, I can't select any words on this page, but but it's okay. We may not need to do that in this case. Um, that's why learning. Let me read this for you. That's why learning basic English sentences is so important. You need to know the basics before you can build a beautiful、uh, castle with your words. The wonderful thing about English and languages in general is that once you know the basics, learning gets a lot easier. By learning some easy English sentences, you are setting yourself up for understanding all English conversation. I like that. Okay. He just said you can start with a sentence like this. I like cards. Okay. What a beautiful sentence. Just have three words. From there, you can add the details. I like cards of the Kirkso Valley breed, and even more, you can say I like、uh, what kind of cards because, unlike many older cats, they love to swing. Well, it's it seems easy for us. Um. Here he just said, "Eighteen quick ways to build easy English sentences with sixty-five and more examples." I like this part because I always think example is very important if you want to learn anything. So let's get started. Before we begin, there are two main things you should know about this guide. One. Whenever we use noun, you can replace it with a pronoun. For example, you can say "Shen is tired," or you can say "He is tired." Both are correct. Two, whenever we use "is," you will need to replace it with the correct form of "to be." Choose the right form based on this list for the present tense. I am. He, she, it, is, you, they, we, are, and this last for the past tense. I, he, she, it, was, you, they, we, were. Okay, that's all. Now you are ready to begin. Making statements about the present. One, describing something or someone. Describing something or someone. 
form noun is adjective. Note, if the noun you are using is not a pronoun, the land of a place or the land of a person, it is the word the or this or that before it. For example, the flower is right, is red. The you are wonderful, you are beautiful. The Empire State Building is tall. Okay, you can even read more than that. For example, two, stating the location of something or someone. Form noun is preposition location. Notes. The, to, to state the location of something or someone, a preposition is usually necessary. Choose the correct preposition to give the right information. You can also say some, someone was here or over there. Since, since these terms are relative, their meaning depends on your own location. You do not need to add the final location. Once again, nouns are nouns are that are not names of people or places get the added before them. For example, the card is under the bed. Chair is next to Anya. He is on the train. The dog is here. The men are over there. Okay, the, those sentences just are just beautiful, you know, because um, it is meaningful. You, you can feel the information contained in it. Three, explaining what some, someone is doing. Four, noun is verb and in a ing format. Notes: the ing form of a verb means an action is taking place right now. Use this form when talking about an action that has not ended yet. Examples, he is reading, I am speaking, the card is leaping, cat is singing. Just beautiful. Four, stating what someone does for a living or a hobby. What's that mean? That means um, uh, if you want to express a meaning, which uh, which is someone uh, uh, do something to live to live, or uh, it it's a habit for for that man. You, you can use this format, you can use this sentence example. Um, the phone is non verbs in a S format. Notes, using this structure implies the subject of your sentence does the action regularly. What's, what's the mean of regularly? Uh, for example, you do it every day like a hobby or a job, even if they are not necessarily doing it right now. The examples, he reads, 他是一个读者. The, the card laughs, cat sings, I codes. That's funny. Here we go, the five point expressing feelings. Okay, that's interesting. The form is noun, aid feeling verbs, aid nouns, or noun, aid feeling verbs in a S format, aid to, and uh, verb or verb in an ing format. Notes, feeling verbs are verbs like love, like, or hate. You can love or hate an object or an action. When you describe when, when you describe someone's feelings about an action, 
you can use either the to verb or verb ing format. In most cases, both are correct. You can also use this form to describe needs and wants. Uh, but remember that in that case, the verb ing for form cannot be used. For example, you don't need sleeping. You need to sleep, or just need sleep. Okay. the The simple meaning of of this is that if you want to use to to, then after the to, you can't you 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 cannot use a verb ing format. Okay. Let's let's read some examples. I love sunshine. I love everyone. I love programming. I love girls. The elephant likes painting. Tom hates his job. I need to eat. I want food. She wants to sleep. She needs sleep. So it's it's a feeling. Okay, you you can use this format to、uh, whatever you want. Um, basically, I don't know why the want after I with a are is is no s after it. But when we use she. The want must add a s in the end. I I don't know why, but、uh, it it must have some meaning. For example, if um if the the subject is not myself, then maybe the the verbs need to just add a s. Okay. I don't know. Just that that feeling. Okay. Uh, but more likely, we 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 don't necessarily need to、um, describe others' feeling. Okay,、uh, normally we don't do that. We just want to express my ourselves' feeling. Okay, that means we we can just use the the subject and the the the, the verb. That that's enough. For example, um, I hate him. I I, I, I hate that that way of 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 what he 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 is doing, and so on. Okay, another one. Sex, making a suggestion, making a suggestion. Oh, what, what a good example. You know, often in. In 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 a often situation, you you want to do this, okay? The form, let's, verb or please aid verb, notes the to su to suggest an action that you will also take part in. Use the first structure to politely ask someone to do something. Use the second one. Okay, it's simple. Let's say some examples. Let's eat, which means we are going to eat. Uh, please eat, which means the 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 other man, not you, have to eat. Please move. Please note, this might be grammatically correct, but it is actually not very polite. the The polite way to ask someone to move is is to say, "Excuse me." Okay, that's that's right. That's good. Okay, I I I never seen. Uh, any any article that useful like like this one, so、uh, it's great. Thanks to the 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 writer or the the author of this this article. Okay, thanks. Okay, here we we are going to a higher level of English. You know, in China, there there not 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 much um uh, thoughts about the the, the past. We we. We we won't think about it when we are speaking. So,、um, it's very important for for Chinese people to understand the the grammar of of past. How how to express the past? 
Okay, the same point describing something or someone in the past. The form is known was ad addictive. Notes you describe someone in the past tense almost the same exact way as in the present. Just change the is to was. Using this structure suggests that either the description is no longer accurate, or that description is for a specific moment. Okay, let's say some examples. The flower was red,、uh, which means maybe in in right now the flower no longer red.、Uh, Is no longer red anymore. Okay, it is no not red anymore. The second sentence is: You were wonderful. You were wonderful. That means right now you may be、uh, not any wonderful at all. Maybe you just sucks right now.、Uh, you played the violin so well in the concert. What's that mean? I don't know. Just. Just go to the third sentence. The Empire State Building was tall until the giant apps tall it 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 down. Oh, okay. That Empire State Building, that that building, that building was tall. Was tall. That means in the past it it was tall, but 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 right now maybe there has some other buildings taller than it. Okay. So the whole meaning about the 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 description of past is that you say a thing、uh, in a past in that moment you you describe the history moment but 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 right now it 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 may be different it it may has changed okay let's go to the eight point the eight point is. Stating the location of something or someone in the past, the form is known was preposition location. Notes as with a description describing describe de, describing a location in the past and the present is very similar. The rules remain the same, only the verb tense changes. Remember again that using this form means the location has changed, or that the statement was only true for specific time period in the past in the history. Okay, let's go ahead. Examples: The cat was under the bed, but then it went away. Okay. Maybe I could say I was coding last night, but now I'm recording movies.、Uh, okay, it makes sense. Okay, it's it's quite wonderful. You, you, you know, just before this video, before this reading, before this learning, I I I was never know or master how to speak English correctly. Okay, I just don't know. Just. I just speak, okay. That that's that's not good, okay.、Uh, Charlie was next to Anna. Then he went behind her. Well, wonderful. He was on the train, but now he's not in the train anymore, okay. That is how he knew the train was going to be late. The dog was there, but then its owner took it away. The men were over there, but now the man was not in there anymore. Uh, it's but but now the man isn't there. Okay. Um, I don't know if we should say is. Maybe it has another way.、Uh, no, no, isn't. No matter he or 
uh, I or anything, the the preposition or the 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 thing is is in if we want to uh, represent the the current uh, statement. Um. Okay, that's it. Oh, there has one thing you need to um, notice that uh, you need to notice that if the subject uh, is not a single concept, concept is is not a single object. You may want to use where, okay, W E R E, and not was. But if the subject is indeed a single project, is a single object, then you are good to use was. Okay, that's okay. That's that's a thing you need to notice when you、uh, try to speak,、uh, try to describe a. Uh, when you try to describe a statement or something that happened to a to an subject to a man to to a、uh, whatever subject, I'm feeling I'm I'm going to a higher level of English speaking because this article is wonderfully useful. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the line point, explaining what someone did or used or used to do in the past. The form non was verb ing or non verb in a ed format. Notes: There is a slight difference between the verb ed format and of an action and the was verb ing format. Using the Verb ed form describes something that has finished happening. Using the ing form of a verb describes something that was happening under a during a specific period of the time in the past. Okay, it's 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 quite it's different. It's a little it it has a little difference. So. Another form you can use is non-used to verb. This form is used for any kind of action that someone used to do in the past, but has since stopped doing. Okay, I I don't know what it means.、Um, all these forms can be used with the 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 filling verbs as well. Just add the noun or verb ing after the filling verb for a complete sentence. I don't know that sentence either.、Uh, but but let's try to、um, read some examples. See if we can get some intuitions about those、uh, concepts. The cat laughed. That's why he is so happy now. Oh, that that means the cat left. The cat slept, but now he's wake. He's wake. Um. So that's why he is so happy now. Um. Cat sigh. The the concert was wonderful. He was reading. That is why he did not hear the doorbell ring. He was reading. Okay, in the past, in the history, in in the past, uh, in 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 the past, in a period of time, he was reading. He was reading, but now he's not. the The Statue of Liberty used to shine, but being in the sad water. All those years has made it green. What does that mean? Um. But if we change the subject, we we say the the gun used to shine, but now it's not. I it was not. Oh, 
Oh my God, I don't know how to say that. I used to love. What's what's that? Uh, sharp. I used to love sharp, but but then I learned that I am allergic to it. Uh-huh. Charlie hated sw- swimming. She had to do it every day in school. Shani hated swimming. She had to do it every day in school. Okay, how how to ex ex explain that? How to explain that? Shani hated swimming. Okay, Shani hated swimming. Yes. And in the past, in the history, he had to do it. He just did. Okay. He did it every day in in the school in the past. At at the past, but 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 he hated, but but she hated swimming. Okay, that that makes sense. It's it's a more accurate way to、um, express things. If you if you if you know the the how the grammar works. Okay. Okay, the next section: making statements about the future. We all like to talk about the future because that will influence us in a in a certain way. But we don't know how. The ten point: stating what someone will do in the future. For Nong is going to work. Nong. Will work. Notes: The great thing about the future tense is that you don't need to remember. You don't need to remember any verb forms. Yeah, just keep it real. Keep it orange. To turn a sentence into the future tense, just add the words "is going to" or "will" before the verb. Using this structure without any additional details means that. You will be doing the action very soon. Examples: I am going to dance. I'm going to dance. I will dance. Okay. We are going to eat. We are going to eat. We are going to eat. Yes, we are about to doing that. The baby is going to sleep. The baby is going to sleep. The baby was almost. Ah,、uh, no, no, no. The baby will sleep. Uh, after minutes, here comes to the eleven eleven point points, stating when something will happen. The form is non will verb preposition time non is going to verb time adverb. Notes: Use this structure to talk about the things that will happen in the future. When you use a specific time, a preposition is needed. Use at when stating a clock time, and on when stating a day or date. Use in when starting a year, month, or another time frame, like a couple of years. Or two minutes. When you use a time a verb like today, tomorrow, or yesterday, you don't need you don't need a preposition. Okay, let's go ahead. Examples: The train will leave at five a.m. I will visit my parents in October. An Asna is going to dance tomorrow. I'm going to code. I'm I'm going to code today or afterward. I will go to sleep tonight. That's for sure. Uh, you may say why. When we use today, tomorrow, or yesterday's, we don't need a 
preposition. That, that's because we want a convenient way to speak. Okay, so uh, in a in a normal life, in daily life, we use tomorrow, today, and yesterday very much, very often. So that's for convenience. That's for convenience. Yeah. The next section: making lectio statements. Twelve point. Stating what someone is not or not doing. The form is "non" is not adjective, verb ing. Notes: Changing a sentence into a negative one is as easy as adding the word "not." Okay, let's read the examples. The flower is not red; it is white. You are not wonderful. That's why、uh, that's that's not very nice. You you can't speak that to others. If if you want want them to be happy, okay. The Empire State Building is not tall. Cat is not thin. Okay, that's that's easy. The thirty points. Starting what someone did not do, the form is non did not verb, or the non was not verb ing. Notes: Remember the rules from before. Using the first form above puts the focus on the action. In this case, seeing it did not happen at all, verb ing puts the focus on the time the action. Took place, saying it was not happening at a specific moment. Examples: I did not sleep. I stayed awake all night. It was not sleeping. Oh no no no! I was not sleeping. Well, the teacher gave her lesson. I was not sleeping. That means I. Was not sleeping in a period of time. The customer did not pay. Ah,、uh, the the customer did not pay at all. How terrible! The customer did not pay. What's that mean? That means the customer um didn't give me any money, but took my product. The eighteen point, stating what someone will not do in the future. The form is non is not going to verb. Non will not verb. Note: changing the future tense into a negative sentence is just as easy as it not before the verb. Examples: I am not going to eat. I will never eat that. Um, sing will not dance. He has ants in his pants. What's that mean? <laughs> the cat was not lap. He's going to eat first.、Mm-hmm. I will not give up unless I have achieved my life goal. Okay, that's easy. Okay, we are going to a new section. Asking questions. That's very important because, um, you know, in in normal, uh, situation, in 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 general, uh, talking, we always want to asking, or we always want to ask some questions to others. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead. The Uh, the the fifteen points, asking where someone is, form, where is now, notes. You can also use this form to ask about places, things, and any other kind of noun you might be trying to find. Examples: Where is a dog? 
Okay, where is the dog? I can find it anywhere. Okay, or we we can say, where is George? And where is the bathroom? I want to、um, use the bathroom. Or you can say, where is inside XO? Where where is inside XO? Okay. I'm here. I'm the inside XO. My name is inside XO. Okay, that's right. Let's go to the next. The seventeen point asking about when something will happen. When? Okay. The form when will known verb notes. This is a useful sentence structure to know when you want to find out about events. In the future, examples: When will the rain? Oh no no no! When will the train leave? Uh, what's that mean? Okay, it means, uh, you want to know the exact time the the train leaving. Okay. When will Friend, visit. When will your mom call? When will I become a successful person? The eighteen point, asking who is doing something. Phone, who is verb ing. Who is verb ing noun? Notes: This structure is a bit different. It can be used to refer to the present and to the near future tenses. Use it to find out who is doing a certain action. For example, if you hear a trumpet and want to know who is playing it, or you can use it to find out who will be doing. An action in the near future. For example, if you are going on a trip and want to know who will drive the car, if the action is being done to something, don't forget to add that something in for a complete thought. Uh huh. I don't know what he just said, but let's just read those. Examples: Who is playing the trumpet? Who is playing that? Okay. Who is driving? Who is cooking? Who is using my computer? That's mine. Uh, that that's me. Okay. Uh, who's drinking? Also me. Uh, the the easy sentences. You uh, I think we may be just uh, uh going uh reach to the end of this article. So that's the end. Let's cheer. Yeah, we just finished the. Uh, this simple、uh, grammar and the this grammar article. So、um, we should be happy because we just learned so much sense. And now we can speak English correctly. What a good thing we have! Okay. Ah, <sighs> what a wonderful day! I will see you in the next video. Maybe. Bye.